Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Thursday afternoon just before Friday, Monday morning podcast, and I'm checking in on ya. I know, my voice is still fucked up. I'll be back. Or maybe I shredded it for life. What am I doing right now? I'm sitting on a pull-out couch in what is supposed to be my office, but no work gets done in here. Um, yeah, I'm just fucking chilling out. I got a little half a grapefruit here that I'm going to eat later because old Freckles is a fat fuck and he's turning it around. That's what I'm doing. I'm turning it around. I'm not going to try to blame Hollywood for fucking giving me an impossible body image to live up to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it as a goal. All these fucking pussies out there nowadays. Oh, that's too hard. Yeah, it is hard. Eat an apple and get your fat ass in the gym. That's what America needs right there. Now for this fucking, I don't know what, this patty cake we're fucking playing with everybody. Jesus fucking Christ. You live in a great country. There's too many cookies, all right? Know that and leave the house. That's all you got to do. Fucking sitting here blaming Arby's for your fat ass, huh? Hating on those those fucking Victoria's Secret models or uh, uh, whoever the new fucking Brad Pitt guy is with his fucking eight pack, huh? Oh, that's been airbrushed. Oh, fuck you. You're fat. You ate a big king every fucking day for the last 20 days. That's your problem. It's not society. It's that you have a car, they have a drive through and you have singles in your wallet. Where are you going to spend it? Drive your fat ass down to the supermarket, just like my doughy midsection. I'm bringing it down there, looking like the fucking freckled. Imagine the Pillsbury, Pillsbury Doughboy with, like, freckles. That's what I'm looking right now with my, my fucking shirt on. I put on a good 12 pounds of writer's room weight, you know? You know what I like to go for? I like the Hershey's miniatures, right? Get that fucking sugar rush, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Then I eat a handful of fucking pretzels, bring me back down with the salt, and then where am I? Oh, late night. Oh, we're working late again tonight? Oh, let's get a fucking pizza. I'm just going to have one slice, four slices, what? right down the fucking pie hole. And who am I blaming, huh? Am I blaming those whores on Instagram? I'm not. Not me. I'm taking responsibility for my gluttonous acts. <laughs> I am a fucking... Oh, no, I'm not a mess. I'm turning it around. Old daddy white legs here get up to almost a buck 86, you know? Now I'm back down to a buck 82. My goal is just to be in the 170s. If I'm in the fucking 170s by the time we're done with the next two episodes, right? A couple, two, three pounds over the next two weeks, right? I can do that shit, even though the 4th of July is coming up, right? And that's the big day we celebrate, Independence Day, you know? Wasn't that the day we had the fight with the British? And we said, uh, one if by land, two if by sea, and uh, get those Native Americans off my property. Isn't that, isn't that what happened on that day? Um, we declared independence from England on July 4th, 1776. We were like, we're sick of you oppressing us. We would like to be the oppressors. And it took us almost 300 years to get there. And God damn it, we're, do we're doing it as good as England ever did it. Take that, fuckos! Um, anyways, got to drink the throat coat tea. I don't know why I never drank this before. I got to tell you, you know something that's fucking delicious is a goddamn grapefruit. Not a regular grapefruit, a goddamn grapefruit. They're right next to the Sunkist. You go in there, you go, hey, you got a goddamn grapefruit? I'm sorry, we only have Sunkist. And then you say, well, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you and your crate of celery. That's what I'm back to. Celery at night, my little scoop of fucking peanut. Right? I'm six months into this year. My drinking's back under control. Nothing will bring your drinking back under control like eight fucking Corona lights that somebody left in my fucking fridge. Jesus Christ. Been slowly knocking those things back. One a day. And it's just such a horrible experience by the end of it. It's like, I, I, not only do I not want another, I don't think I ever want to drink again. You know? Oh, so whatever. So, um, only had one cigar this month, so I've had nine for the year. So that's good, right? It's going to go off the rails soon, right? We got 4th of July, and then I got fucking the European run coming up, you know? And uh, I, already, I, I was on a flight, and I somehow discovered this part of cigar aficionado. Um, it's places to smoke. 
If you like cigars, people, go on CigarAffectionado.com and you cl- click on search Cigar Affectionado, one F. Who knew? Um, I thought it was spelled like after with two Fs, right? I'm kidding. I just love all the people when I play up how stupid I am. They just love, you know, yeah, you guys dumber than me. Nah, you're right next to me at the Applebee's, right? Just order your fried fucking pickles, you cunt. Um, Scar Affectionado, one F, as in fuck. And uh, Google Places to Smoke. I mean, it's just, it's fucking, it's incredible. So I've, um, I've done that all across Europe, but I just did it like every like fifth city or something. So I don't go off the rails when I'm over there. So I'm, I got a couple of days in London. I'm going to smoke there. And then I think I'm just going to fucking haul ass for the rest of the trip and maybe take a few days off, little vacation, little holiday, you know? Somewhere down the Mediterranean, right? Look at old fancy freckles. You like this? What a fucking life. Flunked everything in high school. Huh? Yo, you need two years of a language. No, you don't. You just need to be a silly cunt and have enough people get into you. And all of a sudden, you too. You too can not add up how much your vacation costs and then get a credit card bill and be like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs>